Hi, I'm Dr. Madhvi Reddy, Consultant Obstetrician and Gynecologist at Motherhood Hospital, Echabia. What do you mean by IUGR as a short form for this? Where the fetus fails to achieve its growth potential associated with its increased perinatal mortality and morbidity. There is increased perinatal mortality of 120 per thousand live births and it's the second leading contributor for the perinatal mortality rate and 50% of uh, IUGR babies subjected for a trial of labor land up with an intrapartum asphyxia leading to increased incidence of caesarean deliveries. So this is the clinical significance of intrauterine fetal growth restriction. Coming to the phases of growth, we divide the fetal growth into three phases. Initial phase lasts up to 16 weeks where there is only cellular hyperplasia that means there is increase in the cell numbers up to 16 weeks. Between 16 to 32 weeks, there is both cellular hyperplasia as well as cellular hypertrophy that means there is increase in both in the cell numbers as well as size of these cells. And after 32 weeks, it's only cellular hypertrophy where these cells increase in the size. As I said, the risk factors for these could be race, mother's uh, nutrition status, her anemia status, as well as few retail anomalies where these babies don't reach their growth. Intrauterine growth restriction can be divided into symmetric or asymmetric IUGR. Symmetric IUGR where there is an early insult, insult which has taken place where there is decrease in the cell numbers. So as such overall the baby will be small. Coming to asymmetric IUGR, asymmetric IUGR is detected in later part of pregnancy and it could be due to the chronic reason. Hence the cell numbers will be adequate but the cell will not increase in its size. So they will be shown later in the pregnancy as an asymmetric IUGR. Clinical significance of this is these babies will have intrapartum fetal distress or these babies can for because of these reasons they can go in for a preterm deliveries and the babies will have oligoadrenals where the fluid volume will be less in intrapartum which can cause several other uh, disorders like cord compression or the baby's uh, fetal skeletal is not fully developed so indirectly can cause all these issues to the fetus. Symmetric IUGR reasons could be genetical disorders or chromosomal disorders where the baby can be detected at the earliest any symmetrical IUGR we detect should be subjected for genetic or chromosomal studies. Asymmetric IUGRs are basically because of chronic uteroplacental insufficiency maybe because of maternal hypertension, diabetes or any placental disorders which can be detected and should be treated. Management is also based on what, are, what is the cause for this intrauterine growth restriction. If mother is a malnourished or if she is severely anemic, first this should be treated. Intrauterine fetal growth restriction mothers require surveillance more frequently compared to other conditions. So we ask the mother to keep a daily fetal movement kick on which is very very important in these conditions. At least a mother should feel 10 to 12 movements in a day. Second way to monitor these uh, babies are through a ultrasound where they keep monitoring the baby's uh, growth rate as well as the blood flow to the baby which we call Doppler study. And the third one, if the, if the mother is more than 32 weeks, we do a non-stress test which tells us indirectly about the fetal well-being. So these are the surveillance which may require more frequently if there is severe IUGR then we will ask every once in every two days also for these surveillance tests to be done. And management is based on if it is severe IUGR with severe Doppler changes, we have to deliver at the earliest. For other uh, conditions, we can improve the fetal growth by asking mother to take a nutritious diet which is rich in protein and to lie down in a left lateral position. By lying down on this way, the blood flow to the fetus will be improved, basically improving the nutritional status of the mother and continuous surveillance is very much required for fetal growth restriction. Thank you.